Hi, I'm Andy Pernsteiner, field CTO for Vast Data, and today I'll be introducing you to the Vast Catalog, an exciting new feature in our 4.6 release. As you may recall, Vast already provides per folder capacity metrics in our capacity dashboard. This allows you to drill down per folder to see things like capacity and data reduction, but oftentimes it isn't enough detail, which is why we created the Vast Catalog. Starting in 4.6, all metadata for files and objects stored in the VAST platform is automatically indexed in a built-in database. It can be queried quickly and easily using a wide variety of filters. Here, I'm searching for all files owned by a certain user which have the PDF extension and are larger than 50 megabytes in size. Results are displayed within seconds and can be exported to a CSV file for further processing. Additionally, for power users, we've created a robust CLI that allows you to perform the same queries. Here's the same one as before. Now, since it runs in a standard shell, we can pipeline it with any Unix tool set. For example, to sum the size column to see how much capacity these files are taking up. Now, of course, since this is all housed within an internal vast database table, we can use SQL to interact with it directly. Uh, let's take a look at the full schema for the catalog. Not only are basic forms of metadata tracked, but so are user-defined tags and metadata, which we'll cover a little bit later. Here I'm doing a simple query to get the total number of files for a specific directory. In this case, there's about 2 million files. Ran pretty fast. Now let's run the same query we ran using the UI before, but this time in SQL, just so you can see how it's done. Um, and then the other thing that we're gonna wanna do uh, is do the same aggregation query that we did before, but this time using SQL. Um, so imagine the power that you have if you can use things like SQL to be able to do these things directly. Um, those of you that has database experience, it might, might be very helpful. Now, additionally, we have an API which can be used to write your own applications and scripts to interact with the catalog. I've created a few examples to get started. One is a find command replacement. Uh, running find against a file system with millions or billions of files is really inefficient and slow. And in this case, I'm, I'm just going to cancel it and not bother running. I don't want to wait forever. Instead, I'll run the vfind script, which, like find, can locate files according to a set of filters. But the difference is it comes back so much more quickly. Um, I can either, you know, come up with other scripts that can summarize capacity by user or potentially uh, I can even rank by user, right? So attempting to do this on a file system without a fast catalog would take days or even weeks to complete. In our case, we can get it done in mere seconds. Now, let's introduce a new concept where we blend the worlds of file system and database into one. Um, remember how we were talking about user metadata earlier? Let's, let's put it to use. Um, so, here we can see object metadata per object in a tabular form. Uh, you want to search for objects with specific metadata value. It's just a matter of using the correct SQL function to seek inside the metadata for the key that you want to filter by and the value that you want to look for. In this case, I want to see all images which were taken by a Pixel 7 smartphone. Now, if you think about how you do this before, typically you have an image, you have a database, you have two different things. Here I'm saying you don't need to have both. You can have it all in one place. There is no need to maintain a separate database to track the metadata for your systems. Now, in addition to the object metadata, we also index the S3 tags, which can be added or deleted to an object at any time without needing to re-upload the object. Um, each tag becomes a key or val key value pairs in the user tags column. And we can use the same method as before to seek to the key we care about and then filter for the values we're looking for. In this case, there's no objects in this bucket which have the process flag set to true. So let's go ahead and remedy that. We're gonna switch over to S3 browser to inspect some of the objects that were uploaded into this bucket and then adjust the tags accordingly. First, I'm gonna download a few objects so I can open them up. They're image files. We'll take a look at what the pictures are. Our goal of today is to look at the pictures and decide on the mood. This first one seems pretty serious. After we set the mood tag, I'm also gonna set the process tag to be true. Um, this kind of simulates a you know application that would be going through and doing machine learning or AI to identify these things. Moving on to the next image, this one seems a little sillier. Um, I'm sensing a theme with this hat though. I'll go ahead and set the mood accordingly, set the process tag to true. Moving on, let's go to the last image that we downloaded. Um, let's see what's going on in the office. Seems like this character is all ready for business. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the mood to be business, if that's a mood. Um, and then, you know what? I've gone and applied those tags. Let's see if the query returns anything this time. So let's run it. And we see that it's there, updated within seconds, showing all the information that we put in the metadata stream. 
I hope this gave you some great insights into what you can use the VAST catalog for. Uh, we're really excited to release it, and we hope that your day is wonderful.